many of us in the community and around the world are beginning to emerge from isolation, we are emerging into this new normal and we don't exactly know what to expect. Many of us have just spent the last couple of months sort of cut off from the world and many are still having to isolate. For those of you like me, I couldn't wait to get together and see people and hug people and have that human interaction. But things are still not quite the same. We try and plan ahead, but everything still comes with that disclaimer of, well, we don't exactly know how things are going to play out, so yeah. There are many things that have changed and will continue to change and shape how we now live. But there are a few things that have not changed, like bills are still coming due. There is still traffic on the beach. The weather is still unpredictable and Chick-fil-A still has the best chicken sandwich in the country. Well, even though most of those things might be true, the most important things that have never changed are that God loves us and he will never leave us. And it's because of that love we must continue the good work of serving God and spreading the gospel. Scripture has not changed. Our instruction has not changed. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Other versions say, always give yourselves fully or enthusiastically to the work of the Lord. You see, if we're being honest with ourselves, there is a part of these last couple months that have been kind of nice. Life slowed down for many people. We were forced out of routines and obligations and commitments. And the temptation is that as we begin to emerge from this time of isolation, that we might still feel like we need to slow down or circle the wagons or stay in our bubble. And while slowing down is not necessarily a bad thing, we may be tempted to use these things as an excuse in order to justify our complacency in serving God. But I want to encourage you today, don't mistake the convictions of your time and schedule as an excuse to only give part of yourself to the work of the Lord. Because just as it instructs us in Corinthians, no matter what happens in this life, we must be ready and we must not waver in this. Don't just give yourself a little bit to the work of the Lord, but give yourself fully abounding and enthusiastically to the work of the Lord.